These days, it's easier than ever to get into making your own games. I remember when I first got started, there was basically no resources out there for people who wanted to learn. I mean, the internet was a fairly new thing and YouTube wasn't around yet, so I couldn't just look up video tutorials such as the ones that I make here on this channel. However, now with all the tutorials and articles and everything that you can find, you could probably start with absolutely no experience at all, spend an afternoon learning and working, and produce a better game than I did in the first week of working. Then again, I was eight years old at the time, so that might have factored into it. But now is a fantastic time to get into it. So I figured I'd give you guys some advice on how to get started. Now my first piece of advice might actually be kind of controversial for some people. There are people in the game development community who absolutely despise self-enclosed game development programs. You know, programs like RPG Maker, Game Guru, Click Team Fusion, and Game Maker. Programs that are specifically designed to make one or more types of games. You know, you'll see those snobby people who say that you have to learn how to program it all yourself, and you have to learn to model it all yourself, and you have to do everything yourself. You gotta spend like five years in school. That's, it's just not true. If you're just getting started, or it's something that you're just doing for fun, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't use these programs. So if you're just getting started, I would actually highly recommend it. See, I got started with a little program called Click and Play, which eventually became Click Team Fusion. And then I moved on to Game Maker and so on and so forth. While I did eventually learn how to program myself, it wasn't where I started. And you know what? I feel like I actually learned a lot about how games are structured by using these programs. So figure out what you want to do and find a program that fits. Next, you're gonna wanna go out and find some sort of tutorial. If you're using a program, there are a ton of different resources for each one. In fact, if you're choosing to use RPG Maker, I have an RPG Maker tutorial series. You know, card. Self plugs aside, YouTube is a fantastic place to learn pretty much anything, game development included. So just spend some time looking around and you'll find stuff to get you started. Now, once you have a basic overview of your development tools, you're gonna actually wanna step away from them a little bit and open up Microsoft Word or its free counterparts. I actually use OpenOffice personally. And get in there and get to work on your game design document. I did a video on that, again, card. This is gonna be your game development bible. It will include how the plot's gonna go, how the mechanics work, all the nitty gritty details. It's important to get that stuff ironed out so that when you're developing, you can focus on the task at hand. Seriously, I cannot stress enough how important it is to plan and use a game design document of some kind, even if it's just a single page of your rambly thoughts, just have something out on paper. Now, when it comes to the plans though, you kind of have to accept that sometimes you're gonna have to throw some of your ideas out. Now, right now, you're probably sitting there thinking that you just have the best game design and it's gonna revolutionize everything. Well, you can probably throw out about 90% of it right now. Because as you're going along, you're gonna find things that just don't work or that just aren't really possible. And you're gonna have to cut things. You just have to be comfortable with that. But don't worry, as you gain more experience and you learn how to work with games, you're gonna be able to incorporate more of your ideas. Now, as you're developing, make sure to have people test the game as you're going. And not just people who are going to just say that it's fantastic no matter what. So like, don't give it to your mom if you can't do any wrong in her eyes. I mean, yeah, sure, give her a copy because you don't want her like nagging you to get a copy, but just don't necessarily take what she has to say to heart. Unless you have a mom like me who can sometimes be just really, really um, blunt. Yeah, love you, mom. Not that she's ever gonna watch this. Just make sure that you get your project to as many people as possible and people who are going to give you realistic feedback and learn to take their constructive criticisms. You know, it's not an attack on you. They're just trying to help you. So listen to them. Also, don't be afraid to release it to the community. There are plenty of fantastic game development communities all over the web. My personal favorites are the Game Dev subreddit and the RPG Maker subreddit, which I mean, that one is specific just RPG Maker, but still, there are plenty of great places for you to post your work and don't be afraid to do that. Sure, you're gonna get people who are just being plain rude. You know, this is the internet, there are trolls everywhere. But you'll also get some really, really helpful feedback. And who knows, you might find people to collaborate with on other projects. And last but not least, I'm gonna give you the same piece of advice that I always give aspiring developers. 
practice. Game development is an acquired skill. It takes time. You can't just jump right into it and expect to be the next Sid Meier or John Carmack or John Romero or other developers whose names are completely escaping me right now. Richard Garriott and Richard Garfield. Well, that's magic, that's a card game, that doesn't count. You just gotta put in the time and that doesn't just mean working on your projects. Although that should definitely be something that you're putting in time on. But spend some time seeing what else is out there. Play other games, talk to other developers, read articles. Check out YouTube channels such as Extra Credits. It's a fantastic resource. Strive to learn and strive to get better and you will. And have patience. This whole thing is gonna take a while. So there you go guys, just a few simple pieces of advice to get you started. Now as a bonus, down in the description box, I've left links to some of my favorite game development resources. And while you're down there checking those out, why not give this video a like and leave me a comment letting me know if you like this sort of video. And I'll continue to produce content for you guys. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Actually, before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know about something pretty exciting. I actually did a collaboration with Esh over on Fiction Addiction. We talked about his top five favorite JRPGs, and I approached it kind of from an analytical standpoint. So why don't you guys go over there and check it out? I'm gonna include a link in the cards, a link in the description, and you know, something on the little end card thing so you can go to his channel. It's pretty funny, and I feel like you can learn a lot from it. So get over there, leave him a comment, and let him know that I've sent you. Okay, now, have a good one.